Okay, if you've been keeping up, this is pretty simple. What maximum current is delivered by an AC source with delta V max equal to 56.4 volts and a frequency of 79.4 hertz when connected across a 3.7 microfarad capacitor? So this is just like the last question. All we got to do is start out with the general case of Ohm's law. So delta V max is equal to I max times Z where z is equal to the square root of r squared plus the inductive reactants minus the capacitive reactants squared. Now in, in our question, it tells us that basically we're only dealing with the capacitor, so that's 0 and that's 0. So what I end up with when I square my, my capacitive reactants and then I take the square root of that, I end up with delta V max is, e uh, is equal to I max times the capacitive reactants. The problem doesn't tell me what the capacitive reactance is, it tells me what the capacitance is. So the capacitive reactance is equal to 1 over 2 pi times the frequency times the capacitance. Now again, just like in the last equation, it gives us the frequency, so uh, if it didn't, if it were to give you the angular speed instead, well the angular speed is equal to 2 pi times the frequency. So you could just substitute in there. But in this case, it gives you the frequency, it gives you the capacitance, so we can substitute this into our equation, and delta V max is equal to I max times 1 over 2 pi times the capacitance. And then we're going to solve for the, the current, so delta V max, delta V max, uh, and actually it's going to be multiply, so multiply by 2 times pi times the capacitance is equal to I max. And it wants the, the maximum current, so we don't have to convert to RMS current or anything else. It's just fairly simple, straightforward. And the answer I got was 104.1073 milliamps. So make sure you convert, use SI units to start with, and then multiply your answer by 10 to the third. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure you check out my blog. The link is down in the About section of this video. And on the blog, you'll find cool stuff like other videos for the same chapter. And you'll also find uh, little download links where you can download calculators to uh, basically just punch in your numbers and solve these exact problems. So you won't even have to watch the video if you don't want to. The last thing I want to say is if you leave comments on YouTube, of course I will get around to responding, but I'm much faster if you leave them at the bottom of my blog, right down there. Enjoy your day.